Einstein used to say that base form of learning mathematics is to mm. play with it. Yes, you heard it right, mathematics, which is the most important and which is the most hated subject of all students. Right? Mathematics is not boring at all. So why do you think students are generally afraid of mathematics subject? Methods followed by the teachers are not mm -hmm. interesting at all. Hello and welcome to the new video of Margadarshan series and our today's video is all about mathematics. Yes, you heard it right, mathematics, which is the most important and which is the most hated subject of all students. So our today's topic is math and he is here to guide us. So with us, we have Professor Zakardar sir who has 40 years of experience in teaching mathematics and he has guided many students regarding time management and other things. And he also own his own foundation, which is Purti Foundation. So, sir, our today's topic is math, which is most hated subject for all students. Even if I ask our viewers, they'll say I hate the subject. And some of them will say I don't hate, I like it. Sir, so my first question to you is, so why do you think students are generally afraid of mathematics subject? Yeah. Mathematics is, I don't know why, but it is supposed to be the one of the most dreaded subject in the world. Yes. You know, if you take a common perception, common perception is that mathematics is difficult and dull and uninteresting subject and mm -hmm. it is only made for nerds and all that. In fact, in my school, in my college actually, once I asked one of my students, what is maths? He says, mm -hmm. sir, don't you know? Mathematics means, maths means mentally affected teachers harassing students. <laughs> So, it was very clear mm -hmm. that it is the most hated subject and I generally hold media responsible for it, you know. Okay. The media or the people who run media huh. or the people who participate in media, they are generally weak in mathematics, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. So, their, in their opinion, mathematics is a bad subject and since right. media is in their hands, they control the media, they are very successfully spreading this uh, stupid uh, notion about mathematics that it is boring and all that, right? Yeah. Mathematics is not boring at all. Mathematics, for first of all, of course, there are many factors responsible for making it boring. Mathematics is perceived to be boring because the way it is taught in our country, you know, mm -hmm. the way teachers take mathematics and the way teachers uh, teach mathematics, so it becomes a most boring task for the students to understand. understand. Why? Because the methods followed by the teachers are mm -hmm. not interesting at all. They are not going to the root cause root uh, essence of mathematics okay. you know so for example mathematics how is it taught you know how how, how should it be taught mm -hmm. i mean uh, mathematics is hated not because of its intrinsic nature you know mm -hmm. mathematics is hated because of the impression that the students get you know okay. after their uh, their first encounter with mathematics mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the kind of marks that they score and all that right. okay so that is the reason why the is most hated subject. But that impression needs to be erased completely. Mm -hmm. So, sir, my next question to you is, what kind of attitude is best for students? Yeah, yeah. See, while learning math. Yeah, yeah. I will give an example of uh, one of the most, uh, you know, dignified and most uh, revered and most respected mathematicians mm -hmm. in the world. His name was René Descartes. Okay. In fact, uh, entire geometry is named after him. It's called yes. Cartesian geometry, right. right? So this Rene Descartes was not only a mathematician; he was a philosopher, mm -hmm. and he has a very he has made a very famous statement: "I think, therefore I am." Mm -hmm. You know. So he defines human being as the as that animal who can think, right? Mm -hmm. But he did not stop at that. He also yes. elaborated on what thinking is all about. Right. You know, what is thinking? Thinking means what? There are many aspects of thinking. Mm -hmm. Thinking means what? Whenever somebody is saying something, you object, right? right? You agree, you know, yes. you oppose, mm -hmm. huh? you perceive it, you imagine. There are thousands of ways of uh, doing thinking, you know. Mm -hmm. Thinking means what? Opposing, agreeing, uh, argumentative, you know, you do all sorts of things. There are th thousands of ways of looking at a concept mm -hmm. and attacking it in from various ways. Right. You may agree with it, you may oppose it. You may uh, perceive it to be true. You may f find it completely wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever. Right? So, you should be able to fight with that concept from all fronts. Okay. Right? And that fighting, that brainstorming about that particular mm -hmm. concept is called thinking. 
you know, Einstein used to say that base form of learning mathematics is to mm. play with it. Oh. Unfortunately, if you go to any colleges or any mm. schools or any coaching classes, mathematics is not considered as a play at all. Mm. How the mathematics is dealt with in all the uh, educational institution? There is a teacher who comes, writes the problem and starts solving the problem. Mm. In other words, the teachers are looking at math, the, the teacher as if he is an answer key. Right. Now, when you are giving answers to the students, you are basically robbing them the opportunity of thinking. Mm -hmm. You know, they are not thinking. They are just copying the uh, methodology and they are just following the rules. So, nowadays, mathematics is perceived to be the most boring subject because it is supposed to be those who follow the rules according to the uh, okay. method, methodology. You know, yes. and that has been taught to them right from their childhood. Mm. In fact, mathematics, if you want to learn mathematics, you have to have exactly opposite attitude. Right. You know, the students would constantly ask a question, why and how and wh why you are doing this. And the teacher should never teach mathematics by starting with the so mm. solution. He should always start with the question. Right. The first step in learning mathematics is there has to be a question, right? right. No answers. Teachers should never give an answer. In fact, it may happen that a teacher does not know answer. He, the answer evolves along with the discussion with the students. Yes. And then you ask questions to the students. The, what suppose doesn't matter if the student says, sir, why 2 plus 2 is 4 and why it is not equal to 11. <laughs> you will be surprised to know that such questions mm -hmm. like 2 plus 2, why it cannot be 11? 11. Or mm -hmm. why two parallel lines cannot meet? What happens if two parallel lines meet? Mm -hmm. What happens? There are different degrees of infinity. Mm -hmm. You know, such questions which appear to be stupid on the outset have mm -hmm. given rise to some of the base branches of mathematics. Yes. So, this ability of students of questioning and not accepting, you know, questioning, not accepting, let them struggle with the idea, you know, mm -hmm. let them not accept it, let mm -hmm. some, maybe wrong, let some wrong concepts come out of them. So, you ask them yes, a question, right. can you solve this problem? And if they say, sir, I think this is the attitude. Mm -hmm. And you may not agree, you may be knowing that it's wrong attitude, but then you will have to convince him that how wrong it is. Right. You know, instead of just dismissing, the teachers are dismissive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this, is, this doesn't work. The student's curiosity is completely uh, killed, you know. Mm -hmm. So, he comes out with some idea, right. right? He has got certain ideas. Instead of saying, that it's a bad idea, you have to prove to him mm -hmm. that how it will lead to a wrong conclusion. Yes. Right? So, if you say 2 plus 3 is equal to 8, then ask him, if 2 plus 3 is equal to 8, then 2 plus 1 will be equal to 6. Mm -hmm. Then uh, uh, 1 will be equal to 5. And 1 is equal to 5, that means 0 is equal to 4. Mm -hmm. Do you think it is acceptable? Mm -hmm. Now, if he says no, if he says no, that means you have proved that his idea was wrong and he'll be yes. convinced. But he will not be discouraged. He says, yes, sir, sir has considered my concept, right? And he has acted on it and told me, yes, it is wrong, you know. So, the student should not be made afraid of voicing their ideas, right? However, right or wrong, right? That doesn't make any difference. So, you have to start playing, give, throw some ideas into them. Okay, what if we solve this problem in this particular mm -hmm. way? What do you think? If the students start thinking, debating, then the debate and all mm -hmm. that, they will come out with some ideas and those ideas will be proved to be correct mm -hmm. or wrong, you know, by the teacher, mm -hmm. by the guidance of the teacher. So, in other words, if it is, if the answer evolves out mm -hmm. of this kind of discussion, you know, that is the best way of learning mathematics. Mm -hmm. So, as I said, it should be a play. So, you yeah. should make it a play. It should be a fun. It should be a fun. It should be a fun. Yes. Okay. So, sir, my last question is, uh, what is the best strategy for learning maths? See, there are one thing that the student should know that the learning of mathematics must hmm. start with a question. I already said right. that. Okay. Second is the learning of mathematics does not mean that there is a teacher hmm. and who is an answer key. Do not look at the teacher as, as if he is an answer key. He is just a catalyst. He, he is just catalyst for solving the problem hmm. from in the, pro, in the process of solving the problem. You are going to solve the problem, mm -hmm. not the teacher. You can, teacher can only help you and he, he is like a, you know, traffic policeman that yes. uh, yeah, pe no entry hai, yeah, yeah, pe yes. majo, yes. Yeah, pe, you know, that's all. Right. He is not going to give you the answers. Right. So, never encourage teachers from giving you answers. Tell mm -hmm. them, sir, 
we don't want answers hmm. we will think right number 2 number 3 you have to understand that mathematics requires lot of thinking so it is a common misconception that if you can answer mathematics in say 30 seconds you are a good student hmm. hopeless nonsense you know the, uh, all the uh, abj- uh, these objective examinations hmm. and this uh, entrance examination have reduced mathematics to this particular concept okay. that these these examinations mm-hmm. require the student to answer within 30 seconds right now the person who can That's answer right. in 30 seconds may not be a good mathematician mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. because there are questions which have taken years together for solving them yes. people have uh, not people the best minds mm-hmm. you know they have taken years and they require lot of perseverance they require yes. ability of struggling with the question being mm-hmm. with the question don't get frustrated you know so it requires lot of time so the student should be ready to give lot of time without mm-hmm. looking at the solution you should struggle you know you should struggle your best you know you should go to the to your wits end in order to find the solution mm-hmm. and if at all not possible we are really tired then go for the solution if you do that two things will happen mm-hmm. one thing is you will realize are i was very close to the solution Mm-hmm. that will build a tremendous sense of confidence to you confidence. Yes. yes only in the last step i was going somewhere mm-hmm. ay right so my thinking was right yes. i was almost uh, getting I the answer i was almost done yeah yes. i was almost done that kind of confidence mm-hmm. but if you just look at the solution you are not even tried it has not added to your confidence level right. at all ha huh? then the only method for you is to remember it by rote and reproduce at the time of examination yes. it has not added to your knowledge it has not added to your intelligence right. it has not added to any kind of technique mathematical hmm. technique has not entered your brain hmm. at all correct that's the second thing so teacher is not an answer key number 1 start with the question number 2 uh, lo- don't look at the teachers as if he is hmm. answer key number 3 it is not a, a time bound process you know so you don't worry about the time bomb you should be ready to struggle you know with the problem mm-hmm. that ability to struggle and to be with the problem has to be encouraged by the teacher right. rather than giving them solutions mm-hmm. quickly you know that is a third strategy fourth strategy is that mathematics is like you know uh, uh, mathematics should be looked at as a mm-hmm. game so your study room okay. should be full of math puzzles you know mathematical uh, questions you know funny questions like mm-hmm. that Uh, like for example rubik's cube is mm-hmm. there you know there are many many books on mathematical puzzles yeah. so they challenge your brain they always make make your brain think mathematically mm-hmm. you know so those those uh, plays you should start yeah. playing with them at your okay. place at your study you know these are the kind of methods mm-hmm. by which mathematics can be learned and can be made very interesting right yeah so sir uh, <laughs> many times this things happen like a uh, student get afraid of uh, sub- math subject and they stop doing maths yeah. they stop doing their uh, solving their problems yeah but i think this video will really help them yeah to guide their mind and this will really help them to pursue their career in mathematics so if you like this video so share and subscribe this video and do not forget to share this video with your friends thank you